The engines on the island of Sodor love the summer. The Fat Controller arranges lots of concerts. Music can often be heard drifting through the air. The engines do enjoy it. One morning, the engines were very excited. Alicia Botti, the famous singer, was coming to the island of Sodor. She's a coloratura, said Gordon, importantly. What's a coloratura, asked Thomas. It means she can sing high notes very, very loud. The fat controller will choose me to collect her, boasted James. I'm the brightest and the shiniest. Nonsense. I'm the most important, huffed Gordon. Thomas wanted to feel important, too. He might choose me, he said, hopefully. Well, one thing's for sure, said Gordon. He won't choose Dirty Percy. Don't call me Dirty Percy, he chuffed crossly, and he wished away. But the next day, the Fat Controller didn't choose Gordon, and he didn't choose James. He chose Thomas. Make sure Annie and Clarabel are squeaky clean, he said. Yes, sir, said Thomas proudly. He felt very important indeed. Move aside, Dirty Percy, chuffed Thomas. I'm the important engine today. But I need a washdown, wailed Percy. My passengers will laugh at me. But I have to be squeaky clean, huffed Thomas. So you'll just have to wait. I can't wait, grumped Percy. I'm a guaranteed connection. And he chuffed away. Soon, Thomas was shiny and squeaky clean. He felt more important than ever. But as the workers coupled Annie and Clarabel, they heard a strange noise. What's that? asked Thomas anxiously. His driver quickly oiled Annie and Clarabel's undercarriage. That should take care of the bothersome squeak, he said. On the way to the docks, Thomas heard the squeak again. He was worried. It didn't sound like his squeaky clean squeak. Thomas squeaked noisily into the quayside where Alicia Botti was waiting. The Fat Controller held Clarabelle's door open when Alicia Botti screamed. And she screamed. And she screamed, and she screamed. She screamed so loud and so long that windows broke all over town. Definitely a coloratura, said Gordon. Alicia Botti was cross. I can't possibly travel in a coach that a little the with the mice. The fat controller was very embarrassed, and Thomas didn't feel important at all. Just then, Percy returned from his guaranteed connection. Look at the little green engine, Alicia Botti exclaimed. So sweet and a dirty, like a proper steam engine. Peasant, Gordon huffed snootily. Yes, I am pleasant, smiled Percy. He was glad somebody noticed. Alicia Botti boarded the train and Percy steamed away. He felt very proud. Later, Thomas saw Percy at the washdown. I'm sorry I called you dirty, Percy, said Thomas. You go first. Thanks, Thomas. It feels good to be friends, said Percy. But where is your mouse? You'll see, grinned Thomas. That night was Alicia Botti's concert. Her voice carried across half of the island. The Fat Controller had made the little mouse her very own home in the corner of Tidmouth's sheds, and Thomas named her Alicia. <laughs>